Hi kids, in today's video we are going to start with another important topic that is related to subtraction. So let's start with a simple subtraction. In this topic we are given an example that Sarah bought 23 biscuits. She ate 11 of them. How many does she have left? So what we are going to do is we are going to mention all 23 biscuits over here and Cut off the 11 ones. Then after cutting these ones that she has 18, the remaining ones is the answer of the subtraction. Let's count the 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. As you can see kids, these 11 have been cut. So the remaining ones are the ones that have been left with Sara. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So when Sarah had 23 biscuits and she has eaten 11 of them, she, are left, she is left with 12 biscuits. Only there are 12 biscuits left. We have some steps over here as well. First, we subtract once. Again, the, this is the mathematical basic formula that we have to subtract or add from one side, from the right hand side. So as you can see, 3 minus 1 equals 2. So we have started with one side. Then next we subtract tens. This side, the left hand side. So you see the difference is again 23 minus 11, the difference is of 12. What we can do is, we can find the same difference over here. Let's just start with this one. 9 minus 5. So let's have some numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. When we have to strike through, what we are going to do is, we are going to highlight. It means it has been stricken through. How many? 5. Let's count them. One. 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 I have cut. The remaining ones are 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is the difference when you subtract 9, 5 from 9. Same is the case with 4 minus 1. What we are supposed to do is we have to put 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have to cut 1 only. So again what we are going to do is this. Remaining ones are 3. So 3 is the right answer over here. So means 49 minus 15 is 34 or the difference between 49 and 15 is 34. We have to do the same thing over here. Let's move to the next page. Another example says Asad has 125 points. He gave away 13. Now how many are they left with? What we have to do is 13 minus 125. So remember kids, when you have to subtract, so you put the biggest number at the top. 125 minus 13. Step 1, subtracting the 1's, 5 minus 3 is equals 2. Step 2, subtracting the 10's, 2 minus 1 is equals 1. Step 3, 100 minus 100. 1 minus 0 equals 1. So 125 minus 13 equals 112. It means Asad has 112 coins. Same goes with this. Let's move. Now this is another rule of regrouping means the carry ones. Let's find the difference between 23 and 6. Since the number 3 is smaller than 6 or less than 6 in value, so what we are going to do is we are going to carry one number. So when we have carried 1 from 2, it remains 1 over here. So how we are going to do is 13 minus 6. So when we minus 13, when we minus 6 from 13, it becomes 7. And then comes the tens part. Since these, this has already been taken 1, so this is remaining with 1. So we will carry, we will copy 1 over here as it is. So, we can say the difference between 23 and 6 is 17. Or, when we subtract 6 from 23, it becomes 7. 
17. We can say after borrowing, we are left with one tens only, as you can see over here. Another example says Ali is writing an essay of 6525 words. He wrote 4280 words. How many more words does he have to write? So we need to find the difference. What we are going to do is we are going to put 6525 up and then we'll blow it 4280. And we have to follow the same thing. We have to follow this first step, which is subtracting the ones. So we need to subtract 0 from 5, it becomes 5. Subtracting the tens, so since we cannot subtract 8 from 2, what we are going to do is we are going to carry 1 from 5, it becomes 4 and this becomes 12, 12 minus 8 becomes 4. Then step 3 says subtract hundreds after borrowing 1. 100, 4 hundreds are left. So it means 4 minus 2. Equals 2. And 6 minus 4 equals 2. So what we are going to do, see here is. 4 minus 2 equals 2 and 6 minus 4 equals 2. So it the difference between these two digits are. 2, 2, 4, and 5. So, this was from subtraction topic since we have already understood simple subtraction and the subtraction with regrouping or carrying or borrowing a number or a digit. I hope you understood and enjoyed today's video. I'll be back with some more. Till then, take care of yourselves. Bye.